Max, just coming out of this whole series, getting ready for this one, what's just the focus for you and getting the results that you've had in this year's preparing for opening day? Yeah, just trying to, you know, get the get the body back underneath you. Um, you know, everyone's still feeling a little a lot of whack from the flight and uh, you know, it's just part of the nature of the human body. So just trying to, you know, get out there make sure you're going through your work and just uh, getting yourself ready to go for the season. Is there anything in specific that you kind of pay more attention to right now that you're working through as you are trying to kind of just get back to now being back in the full swing of things? Uh, for me, it's just trying to focus on my routines. Um, yeah. You know, just keep going out there, get my work in, trying to focus on things that I can focus on, um, you know, just trusting that going into the game. With the results you've been getting in this series offensively, anything you've been working on or just kind of feeling really good at the plate right now? Uh, it just trying to you know stay within myself, stay small at the plate, and uh, you know just trying to really hone in my approach. Then you know back through the middle of the field, and it's just uh, uh, for me, it's just seeing the ball. Um, you know, going into the the Korea games, being sick that last week. Um, you know, had really a week off from games plus the flight, and so I was just a little bit out of rhythm when I was there. And so for me, it's just trying to get back into rhythm at the plate and just seeing the ball. Did you get a chance to watch Shohei's press conference at all? Yes, I did. What did you think of it? Just sort of his tone and his demeanor. And seemed pretty forceful. Uh, yeah, seems like pretty stoic. Yeah, you know, um, you know, the world we're all behind the guy. Um, you know, for me, where I, where I come from, you uh, you're innocent until proven guilty. So the guy's the guy has told us, you know, face to face what he believes is the, is the truth, and um, that's what I'm going off of, and I believe him 100. percent And uh, you know, I have his back on that. You feel like that was good for him and the team to sort of take that next step to sort of put in the past. Yeah, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's a, it's a hard thing to move on from, uh, especially for him. You know, you definitely feel for the guy, but, um, you know, I think he knows just, he's starting to see how, how we act as a group in this clubhouse and to know that, you know, we all have each other's backs and we're going to move forward through this. As much as South Korea was a truly team bonding experience, is there a way in which a situation like this really can bring the team together in a stronger form? Yeah, you know, there's always things that can bring the team together, and you never know what it's going to be. Um, you obviously don't hope for things like this yeah, to happen, but um, you know, it's it's yet to be seen how we come out of this. But you know, I feel I feel good about the group in, the group in here, and um, we all feel good about the group we have in here, and I think it's just. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's good for him to see exactly what kind of group we are, and uh, um, hopefully that'll help him through this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep.